removing dingleberries again? That was Olive. <laughs> Very obvious. Someone took something. Uh huh. Hey, we'll come out. Did it again. Right, you did it again. <laughs> right before you start to talk. Josh! Your stupid of Corbin. I'm Rick. You can follow us on Instagram, Twitter for more juicy content. And threads, I'm over there. Thank you. I don't, to is anybody still on Twitter? X, whatever the hell you want to call it. More than there are on threads. That, no. Yep. That's very changing rapidly. <laughs> no, it's not. You know how many companies and you people know, have you know left how many people, Twitter? You know how many people left threads? It was famous. It lost half a billion. Half a billion. Half a billion. Your mom's half a billion. Maybe. I don't know what that means. Today, we got a, uh, this is an interview with uh, Siddharth Anand, uh, the director of Patan and War. and the, uh, Yeah, and the upcoming of, of fighter. fighter. He talks about working with Shah Rukh Khan. And so, um, I'm sure it'll be like, he never shows up on time. And doesn't know his lines. And is Smells terrible. Awful, very mean to people. Yeah. It's the general That's the consensus. standard consensus we've heard, is and, that he's uh, unprofessional. He, he said that in the AIB one, that people talk about how he smells good. Yeah. Uh, and apparently in that same video, there's just a different portion of it. They did talk about how he smells. Yeah, of course. <laughs> I want to know what he wears. He's, he has said. Does he, he have his own cologne? He ha he combines two. Okay, but does why doesn't Shah Rukh Khan have his own cologne? Have his own scent? That's weird. It is. Maybe it would, he does and we just don't know it about it. It would sell out yeah. in a heartbeat. But do you do the, a lot of people do this. Jimmy Fallon does this. Prince did this when he was around. Uh, I think a, most, uh, as, do you do the cloud or you just put it on when you, when you put, when you put any cologne or aftershave on? Yeah. You don't do like tss, tss, and walk through it. No. Yeah. That's what, that's what a, a lot of people do. Even the men, women have always done that and they put it on the wrist and behind the ears, but they also do it tss, tss, and walk through the cloud. No sense. I'm going to start doing it. It does because they can get all the, dro all of the droplets are on all, they're all over you. Okay, then just go like this. No, it's too condensed. <laughs> no, you just go, ch -ch -ch, and as it falls, That's you stupid. walk through Shut it. Shut up. How many of you do that? Talk a little bit about Shah Rukh Khan. Because yes. this Who's that? Film, uh, I, so I went and saw it on Thursday. Okay. Um, An up-and-coming uh, background actor. Released, uh, oh. a, a, an afternoon show. And I was like, I came out and I was like, oh my God. It was for me. It was a rediscovery of Shah Rukh Khan. Kiss of life for like Hindi cinema. This is the guy. You know, I felt the way I felt when I saw Forgy. Mm -hmm. I was like, "Who is this?" Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow, it was almost like 4G? a rediscovery to me personally of Shah Rukh Khan. I guess Khan. his, his debut on TV. The heady charm, and then I realized as the movie went along how much fun I had, how charming things were, and how seemingly simple, and yet, like you heard in my introduction. There were some big ideas yeah. floating in there if you yeah. wanted to find yeah. them. So, so many things to unpack here, but let's start with Shah Rukh Khan. Um, you know, Shah, every, every film of his, I think, comes with a little bit of his personality. Mm. Somewhere. Mm. Uh, Chakde has his resilience yeah. and um, Pathan has his flamboyance. Mm. It's a lot of Shah Rukh Khan and Pathan. It's uh, the kind of tongue-in-cheek tongue humor he uses, the kind of larger-than-life yeah. persona that he is. So Pathan is actually Shah Rukh Khan. I couldn't take another actor and make the same film. It wouldn't be the same yeah. thing. His charm, the way he's about women, the way he's about his country, everything is Shah Rukh Khan himself. So yeah, it's 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 a uh, not a biopic, but it's. <laughs> But Tom, but Tom the is a Shah Rukh Khan in this film, isn't it? In Bible, yeah. Yeah. In fact, someone uh, was talking to me and said, you know, but it, it it was okay. It's not a romance. I want to see Shah Rukh in a romance. He was not romancing anyone. I said, hello. He was romancing all of us. You know, so true. Gen no, no, gender out. neutral, age Absolutely. neutral, just every human being. Well, that is so uh, true. He was romancing in this movie. Um, it's interesting you to, for me to hear you say that this was really the essence of Shah Rukh Khan because at the post-release press conference that you guys did, I think it was John Abraham. You somebody said, you know, Shah Rukh is not an actor. He's an emotion. He's yeah. a feeling. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I hear that it's a lot. Sort of cues in from there? Absolutely. I, I, that's the sentiment I think I realized uh, towards the end of the film is mm -hmm. what the audience expects out of him. Um, they expect love. They expect positivity. And there's 
an unsaid romance that he has with his audience like you said is mm. gender neutral mm. age neutral i'm i'm seeing videos of old mm. old of older people mm. you know plowing themselves through snow and walking to watch mm. the film this all over the internet mm. that they're just breaking out of their homes to come and watch him and um yeah so i i think it's it's his personality that mm. that really um has led this craze mm. more than anything else he said he said something at the press conference which i found interesting he said that everybody who worked on that film of of course starting with you and aditya chopra and then everybody else down wished the line wished well for the film uh, just wished well for the film and yeah. for him for him tell me a little bit about that emotional under underpinning to this experience of making and creating this film so you know uh, you know let's let's uh, for the time being take out the fact that his last few films didn't work mm, yeah. that he is the underdog yeah. coming into pathan let's take that out because it's not true <laughs> a the personality that he is on set when he walks into the room he will greet everybody good morning good morning good morning and if he's late i'm so sorry i'm late and at the end of the shoot he'll say thank you guys thank you so much thank you the guy on the tarafa up there thank you he'll say that he'll acknowledge the hard work they're putting in that makes everybody root for him mm-hmm. everybody wants to work harder so that he succeeds that is what he means when he says that because he could feel the love everyone wanted mm-hmm. to wanted to give him everyone wanted to give their best mm-hmm. for the film everyone wanted him to succeed so i think that's what he's talking about because that that's all him because you you really have stars stars normally you know are full of themselves mm-hmm. you know when they walk uh, they are generally 2 inches above the ground mm. <laughs> it's not real that's we do that we put them on the pedestal we give them that special mm. feeling that oh you're different when you walk into the room we all stand up mm-hmm. so we do that for them so it's about naturally that they'll feel like that but sharuk doesn't want you to he disarms mm. you mm. completely with his humor with uh, i wish he would disarm me mm. whoever it is whether he meets my family or whether he meets you or he meets uh, uh, the light man's family he's the same he'll give that much respect that much time he'll want a picture he'll make sure he's there even if he's tired mm. he'll do that mm. so how can he not root for his success is it also because of the particularly challenging year that it was for him personally in the past year we know about the kind of harassment that happened to his son right and we know that it was absolutely a travesty of justice so you know there's something a filmmaker told me before i started shooting for pathan mm. who's worked with him mm. he told me one thing that now when you going to work with sharuk you will never want to work with anybody else mm. you'll always want to work with him and i wondered why he said that and he had made a film with sharuk at his peak of stardom that means he felt the same what i felt mm. during pathan mm. and that you're talking about after he's gone through whatever he went yeah. in the last yeah. pa- in the past yeah. year that means that's him mm. it's not the situations that drove him to do this that's him mm. even today i'm thinking constantly what do i do next with him i'm driven by it and mm. um, i mean he's just he's so giving and as a filmmaker he is everything you imagined an artist to be mm. he's not the star he's an artist you said in that press conference that he's like clay yeah yeah and that if a film which sharuk khan does not do well it's the director who has failed Film. so sadat <laughs> now if i t- so you're saying that he gives it all yeah and he's willing to follow whatever you Absolutely. tell him so then if the films that don't do well yeah. you're saying the blame lies with the director You know this this is the thing that I'm not saying it after my film was a success this is something I constantly said it 2 months yeah. into 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 starting working with him yeah. you know we we knew each yeah. other um yeah. but we never we had never worked with each other barring a couple of ads we had never worked with each other so I didn't have I didn't know what it is actually it's post working with him uh him coming with the superstar baggage yeah. I realized that he like I said he's an artist you tell him anything there is no question there is no questioning your ability or your or uh, um, what you had imagined mm. you wanted this i'll do it you want me to stand and say this you want me to sit and say it you want me to blink trust. at this time you want to keep my lips open at that time you want me to turn at this point okay stop cut now i'll resume this from here not that listen i'm in that flow let me say this line while i'm looking at this person no sir i don't want you to say that i want you to turn to the camera off camera and i'm going to cut and take the shot mm. from here and i want you to look down mm. okay done there's no questioning why blind faith blind faith that's when i realized and i said that this to my producer that you know if this film fails it's all me <laughs> mm. because he's just left everything to me mm. and then he told me 
He just said that if I if I don't submit to you, why am I doing this film? Because I believe you know this film better than me, mm. and I'm I'm I want to do this film with you. So if I'm going to doubt you and question you, then I shouldn't be doing this film. Mm. So that's his theory, and he always says that. Let's talk about the story, <clears throat> the writing, the spy yeah. words, the name Pathan, which I yeah. believe you had for a while. Yes. Yeah, why? Um, you know, I've had this uh, this fetish uh, for uh, collecting titles. Mm. So I had collected uh, Bang Bang, um, Pathan, and I have a few more titles mm. as well. And um, I didn't know if I'll make them. Mm -hmm. um, you I register them. I register them. In fact, I registered even Jawan <laughs> is uh, my title. Mm -hmm. And uh, when Shah Rukh sir mm -hmm. wanted the title and mm -hmm. he asked me for it, I mm -hmm. obviously <laughs> there's no there's no debate on that. Mm -hmm. So I have this habit that you know if I think of something, mm -hmm. I go and register it. So why Pathan? Myself. Um, it probably stems from my desire to have uh, wanting to work with him, mm. to for that desire, um, and I thought that that title um, spells uh, some sort of energy, some action, mm. and um, and Shah Rukh Khan. Mm. So I thought maybe that'll lure him. <laughs> Yeah, so similar to what we've heard before. It's actually kind of sad, not anything about Shah Rukh Khan itself, but the fact that he does these these things that you would hope everybody would do as an actor, right? Like, be kind to people, yeah. do what the director's asking you to do, and that is... Show up on time, know that, your lines. That is notorious. And I'm not saying anything <laughs> bad about Shah Rukh Khan. That's nothing about him. It's, it's more about everybody else in the industry, I guess, that it's such a shock that somebody like him would do those things, that's the sad part. <laughs> like, the fact that, like, apparently there's these, so many other stars that just, like, don't do this, and that's why this is yeah, so... Yeah, that this is exceptional. M m right. Once again, this is nothing against Shah Rukh Khan. I'm, I'm, I'm so happy that he does that, because he doesn't have to, because he is a star, but you would hope that everybody would, right? Right. Uh, it's just, it's just, it, I guess it tells you something about the industry and what these stars think about. And he said, I guess he alluded to it, that they all think they're like, they're two, two inches off the ground because they think they're floating on, right, uh, on uh, anything, I guess. Um, I don't know what I was trying to say there. Um, but that, that's, that's the sad part to me. It's the fact that I guess there's a lack of effort. From a lot of stars? Yeah, or stars who tell the director, no, I'm doing it this way, and it's completely antithetical to the script, to the moment. They just want to do it because they're the star. Yeah. That happens yeah. That happens as well. And the uh, him him doing with the director, the thing he said about um, uh, if he's in it and you fail, it's the director's fault. And it's kind of for most films. The film is the director's medium. Uh, so writing and directing are probably the two most important aspects they are. of film. They are, but I've seen him do bad acting, so he's not a perfect human being. And there are times where it's not the director's fault, it, it's the actor's fault. Yeah. No, I, I was more talking not as about him specifically. Uh, more no, about because just... he just straight up said, if anything doesn't do well in a Shah Rukh Khan film, it had nothing to do with Shah Rukh Khan, it was the director. That's not true. Um, but, yeah, the... I mean, his opinion is true, but the the reality of that is there's no perfect there's no perfect actor. There is none. Danny Dillers? He's not a perfect actor. Oh really? What did he do bad? Nine. No. Just because you didn't like the movie doesn't mean he did bad in it. I liked the movie. His performance was not good. I disagree with that. I think the film was very below average for him. You think he did a good job in nine? I do. Well, you're, you're not a big musical theater fan, so... No, I'm not. He did not do a good job in Nine, and I think he himself would say that. Um, but, uh, yeah, no, obviously there's so many things, obviously, that can go wrong in film. But the two most important are definitely director and writer. Without question. I think writing might be the most important, and then... As, as long as the writing stays intact. That's true. Yeah. Uh, obviously, they're, they're two. Like, I don't think anything else is as important as those two. Yeah. Because I, there's other stuff that can ruin a film. Bad acting can ruin a and film. And when you've got the, when you've got the big trifecta, man, when you've got the writing, directing, and acting all on target, that's when the magic happens. <laughs> that's um, when the magic happens. But you can more easily... A good director and good writing can elevate bad actors. Absolutely. But... 
<laughs> if you have a bad actor. And good actors can elevate bad actors with them in scenes. Mm -hmm. 100%. Uh, and, and good directors can elevate bad actors um, as well. So that, that's but some, some can't. Some can't. Yeah. Yeah. And good directors can take actors that have never done anything before. And like we've seen it many times in Indian cinema specifically. Yeah. And I think that's one of the reasons why so often the uh, when he said, and you said you've heard this a lot, where yeah. this where folks say that Shah Rukh Khan is not an actor or an emotion. He's, he's, an, emo he's, he's an, an emotion. emotion. And I think that's one of the reasons why, irrespective of his films, the majority of them will do well at the box office because people just enjoy being in a movie theater with Shah Rukh Khan on screen mm -hmm. and all of the other aspects of it that have to do with artistry and different things of that nature. They could, they just happily will set that aside because they just love being in a theater or at home with Shah Rukh Khan on the screen. Well, I think a lot of times people don't even look for artistry. They just look for fun. In, they just look for Khan. engagement with Shah Rukh Khan. Um, yeah. Which is totally fine. Um, certain films, especially in Indian cinema, like what they call mass films, they're absolutely not meant to be looked at in the artistic. Aspect. Sure, sure, almost ever. <laughs> yeah. Um, so I, I think that, and that's a very specific thing. Mass. And I'm, I'm talking about like looking for films for for escapism. That's 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 normal. Yeah. But Indian specifically, the mass quality films is something I've not seen anywhere else. No. Uh, anywhere. Not at all. Um, no, and so that it's it's very unique to India, and it is very unique for uh, a, an actor, any actor, but especially an actor of his stature. To, uh, it'd be strange, I guess. That's his experience. I would love to ask that of Shah Rukh Khan if we ever had the opportunity to talk to him. Of are, are there ever moments where you have? I can't imagine he hasn't had a moment, <laughs> if not more than one, where he's had something he wants to question the director about. I can't imagine just everything is sir, yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. Yes, sir. yes, ma'am. I will do that. Well, he'll definitely question it, but he'll definitely do what the director wants. And, and submit to the director. And then be like, sure, can we try it this way as well? And the sure. director's going to Yeah, but I'd love to, I'd, no, love to, yeah. I'd love to know. Well, we'd love to talk to him. I'd love for him to be here. I have a fantasy. I have a fantasy of our interview with Shah Rukh Khan starting where Stupid Babies didn't know what was happening. And all they do is they, they see the thumbnail and they turn it on and he's just, the intro is just him sitting in between us and all three of us are looking in the camera and one of us looks at him and says, you uh, you do smell good. That's my, that's my dream. We'll never interview Shah Rukh Khan. As someone who has tried. We will. He, mark my words. Is impossible. What will you give me when we do? What what are you willing to place bets on? Because I'll bet you. I will it. give you an interview with Shavro Khan. <laughs> no, no, no. Let's let's put some put. What, what's your wager about whether or not the day will come that we do it? What's the penalty you're willing to pay for your wrongness? I'm not. It just won't happen. I want it to happen, and I've tried to make it happen. Manifest it with me, stupid babies. I think it'd be easier if we were in India. I don't. He's an international man. Comes to L.A. all the time. He's got a lot of vested yeah. interest in this city. A lot of vested interest. As someone in who has talked to people and tried to get interviews, it would be easier if we were in India. I'm telling you that as a fact. Of course, any Indian celebrity would be easier in India, you moron. You just said it wasn't. No. You just said it. You just said no. He's an international man. After I just told you, he, it'd be easier if we were in India. He he is of anybody that we would interview. He would be the easiest to interview in person here. Oh my god! You disagree? I, I disagree with the fact that you said easiest to interview. Because... Yes, he would. Of any Indian celebrity, he'd be the easiest to interview in person here. I think, in terms of his placement on Earth as someone he's who in has LA all the tried. time. Manifest no, it, with it me. is not. <laughs> It's got to happen. You know what we'll do? I'll just do a live with him on my Instagram yeah. and say, he'll, he and I will be talking about it and I'll tell him, you know, Corbin said you're never coming on the channel, so I guess you're just not going to be on the channel. And he'll say, yeah, it's a pity. Sorry, Corbin, I would have come on, but you said it would never happen. Okay. Anyways, uh, let us know what other videos we can react to down below.